harvesting. Got snow on the ground still. But, uh, yeah. We did calibrate this twice. It's probably within 5%. 247, 250, 260. Pretty good corn right here. This is Dino Grow, 109 day. Longest day corn we got. Spent the morning unplugging sieves because uh, I guess dad combined in the snow this week, so a little bit just to get the farm done. But the silks and snow and sieves, three S's don't mix too good so yeah that wasn't very fun <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be in the combine all day or I'll be unloading not sure what the plans are but we were gonna have one us me and dad combine and the other guy chisel but it's too greasy out we had to wait till nighttime so I wanted to do a daytime chisel plow video I just don't think that's gonna happen so, well, it looks like I'm running the yeah. combine today. I guess Dad wanted to mix it up. Sometimes you gotta do that. Drive the combine all the time. Nice to unload. If you're unloading all the time, it's nice to combine. So, look at that. 286. Doing pretty good, eh? This is what you call a redneck band aid shop towel and electrical tape. I was tying up the hoses on the chisel plow and there's a wire sticking out of it on the bottom side. I didn't see, I was sliding my finger across the uh, hose and it just sliced three cuts right in my finger. My hand was bloody. <laughs> so uh, in the shop, grab a shop towel, some electrical tape and you're good to go. Man, the sun glare is just terrible. Since the sun only gets about that high in the sky, it's almost noon. This time of year, you always have a glare. It never gets up in the air. That's as about as high as it's gonna get, right there. It'll just go like this, down and over the hill like that. <laughs> I don't believe that. Three, how is it? No, it ain't 370. I did, like I said, last week and I calibrated it twice. The first time the combine was reading 1,300 pounds less than what it actually was. So the combine was saying 4,400 pounds, but the way wagon said 50, what the heck was it? 5,700 or something like that? Yeah. And then the second time it read 150 above. So I would assume this is reading within um, 15 bushel. So I probably should have calibrated maybe one or two more times, but not bad. That is uh, calibrated. Fairly close. I'm loading again. I forgot to count how many loads it is, but I don't know. This might be number five. And this wagon is getting full. Right in here, this strip here, yield monitor doesn't go below 250. It bounces between 250 and 350. So this is some damn good corn. Easily the best corn we've harvested and we're pretty well about done with our own corn so we got all the far farms just right up here at home is what we got left so very happy with this uh number of corn gonna be planting more of it next year so pretty damn good corn and we're 
we're getting a pretty good sample. I noticed we were getting some cobs in there. The concave was a little too close to the cylinder grinding them up, so I widened it out a little bit. This is going to be stuffed full, and we're still going to have corn in here. And Dad ain't back yet. When they're not back yet and you got a wagon full, you know it's yielding good. I got the uh, big part for this field done, and then where this fence line corner is, is left. There's like eight or ten acres in here out of our 50 acre cornfield, which 50 acre cornfield's our biggest field we have, surprisingly. So, getting started on this corner here. Looks like there's 12 in rows, maybe. Um, I didn't plan it. Looks like there's two sets of six left. Man, this corn on the outside didn't grow very well, but send it. The struggles of combining corn straight up a decent hill. 1.1 mile an hour, and we're still losing. Well, we're done for the rest of the weekend. I was going over here trying to turn around, right? And I noticed, like, I was starting to slide off the road, so I thought it was real muddy here. And I kept spinning. I couldn't move. And the next thing you know, all of a sudden, the freaking head just drops on the left side all the way to the freaking ground. And this is what we're left with. I don't even know what the hell. I did it. This tire was downhill, but they can't really lift it up, so I turned it. And flipped it around. Hopefully the tire ain't freaking screwed because they're pretty damn good tires. They're only a couple years old, so I don't know. It just went fly right away. My kind of luck. That's a second big ass tire that went flat on me this year. 4440 and the combine. We're done. <sighs> of course it's Saturday afternoon. I don't see them fixing it tomorrow, so it'll be Monday. And then it's going to be cold as heck, so we're going to have to bring the generator out here, plug the combine block heater in for a couple hours just to get it to start. So I'm going to bring a uh, gravity box, and I think I can get it underneath the, that auger there, but I'm not sure. There ain't much corn in there. Not much. I just unloaded on the other end of the field. So. Man, I hope <sighs> that tire is okay, because that is not a cheap tire. Probably a couple thousand dollar tire. I know definitely more than a thousand. Get this unloaded. I got our shortest wagon parked underneath it. This combine solo, this head is all the way up in the air, and I can reach in there. And the auger on the back, the corn's about hitting it, the tassels. That's how low this side of the combine is right now. When I swung it in, it was actually rubbing up against those plants over there. So, it's definitely muddy. So. Yeah, corn's doing pretty good. Um, I'm pretty sure this is tar spot. And about all our corn had this this year. Came in really, really late. Like, late September, I guess. I've seen other varieties worse. You can still see a tint of green in these plants. It's November 9th. So... Otherwise, it ain't yielding too bad. Anyway, 
Going to load this corn. <laughs> 